a city is perhaps a synapse of God's brain. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you a tour of my productive office space. But quickly before I get into that, I wanted to give you the answer to the hidden word on my previous video. And a lot of you guessed it, it was gold and it was at the beginning of the video. And the first person who got it was AS, so congrats. So the first space I'm going to show you around is the desk. This desk I've had for ages and it's my absolute favourite. It's a sit and stand desk from Ikea. It has this little handle on the side that you can pull out and raise the desk so you can switch between sitting down and standing up. The desk itself is pretty wide, which is my favorite thing about it. And on top of it, I try not to keep too many things. So on the left hand side is this frame with a quote from Kiki K, acts as a little bit of motivation. And then in these drawers is my most frequently used stationery. So the top drawer has a bunch of sticky notes that are easy to grab on hand, has some white out, a stapler and other random things. The second drawer has my Pentel brush pens as well as my mild liners. And then the last one are all my black pens and other random stationery. Moving along to the center is my laptop and this cheeky little hole that somehow appeared there from moving houses. So as you probably would have guessed, the center of the desk is where I do most of my work, so it's pretty empty. I have this laptop stand, I don't always use it, but this is what it looks like if I do have it there. And obviously on top goes my laptop. Then moving over to the right side, I have this stand that holds all of my Tombow dual brush pens. I got this off Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description. And then I also have my trusty little mic that I use to do my voiceovers. In terms of lighting, a lot of natural light does come through the window because they're pretty big as you can see, but I also have these two lamps that are useful at night time. Under my desk are these drawers that literally everyone owns. Some of the drawers aren't that organized, but they're pretty practical. I just keep my most used stuff in there. And then my trusty chair is also from Ikea, shocking. It's a standard office chair, but the best thing about it is you can lean back. And yes, I have fallen asleep in this before because desperate times call for desperate measures. In this room, I have a lot of fake plants. Most of them are from Ikea, but some of them are from Bunnings. In this Muji tub, I keep all of my current uni books that I'm using for the semester. So here are all my textbooks, as well as my display folders that I use for each subject. Then on the other side is my printer. It's the Canon G7070. And just as a little trivia question, who can answer why those blue doors are just hanging there? So onto the storage part of my room. These three cabinets are also from Ikea and they're actually the kids' cabinets. They still function perfectly, so <laughs> that's why I use them. The furthest one to the left, I keep my Muji brown books as well as some paper refills. And then also I have these little tubs where I hold my spare markers and textures. These storage boxes are from Daiso and they were like two bucks each, which honestly, such a bargain. Then in the center is my binder storage. So my two inch binders, I keep them here mainly as decor. I don't actually use them that much anymore. And then in this bottom drawer is my old high school work. So some Ivy stuff, assessments, and just stuff that I use for tutoring. Then in the furthest cabinet to the right, I have this little woven basket at the top that I keep all of my planners in. Then in this file box, I keep some office supplies. So like a hole puncher, glue stick, stapler and calculator. 
Then in this bottom drawer that I got from Muji, I keep my old uni work that some of it is still relevant to what I'm doing now. On top of these storage units are mainly decor, so I have this binder from last semester, this cactus, and also some Muji pens. Then I got these letters from Typo like ages ago. I had nowhere to put them, so I just put them there. And then this little wall organization thing from Erin Condren, as well as some Muji drawers and just decor. Then finally, on the right side of the room, I just wanted to show you these storage drawers which are part of the same furniture series from Ikea that was on the other side of the room. So on top of this I keep my reading books and this candle and some plants. In the drawers themselves I keep a bunch of random stuff that I tried to organize so the top ones got all my scrapbooking stuff. The middle one has my planner stuff, so some sticky notes, my pencil cases, and then some planner stickers. I keep it in this storage box that I also got from Daiso, that was two bucks. Then in the next drawer, I keep my flashcards that I've already made, and also these question booklets that I use for tutoring. And then the one below that is a bunch of flashcards that are empty and the holders for those. Finally, in the last drawer is all my camera equipment. So my lenses, a bunch of cables and tripod. And that's pretty much my entire office space in detail. If you wanna see how I organized this space and cleaned it all up, then you can watch my previous video and you can watch me struggle for like literally 20 minutes straight. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you want to see more content like this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!